How do we solve transalveolar impaction? A 10-year-old boy with two impaction teeth on the upper arch, especially for the left canine, it is a transalveolar impacted tooth and the position is relatively high. The first, diagnosis and treatment plan. Since the patient is 10 years old, both impaction teeth are still in root formation stage, which gives us a very important message that they all have eruption potential. Followingly, then we will evaluate the direction of the impacted teeth by cone beam CT X-ray. Cone beam CT X-ray provides us a clear vision of the impacted teeth location. In this case, you may see the direction of the 23 is not towards the occlusal plane. 15 is towards it, but without enough space for it to emerge. For the first step, open coil spring were used to create space, and after nine months, the space was well prepared. Then we organized a small surgery to save the 23 first. We confirm the position with the cone beam CT again. Then we make a flap to find the canine. In this case, we use full flap elevation. And after the flap reflection, we found the crown of the 23. Then we remove the surrounding bone to expose more contour to have better vision. The next step, we have extend the flap a bit more because we want to place the boundable eyelid with power chain on the buccal side of the tooth. Once we had attached it, we confirm the eruption path of the impaction. Pay attention here. To help relieve the burden of this poor impacted canine, you just need only one carbide burr to trim some bone of the eruption path, which can make this 23 life way more easier and erupt faster, since there are less obstacles during the road. Then we place the screw and the 3D level arm. Make sure the direction of the 3D level arm is outward, backward, and downward. After we hook the power chain to the arm, we combine the arm with the wire by ligature, which can act as a self-card to prevent over-pulling the tooth. For the suture, we use close eruption technique in this case. We continuously track the impacted 23, and after six months, the 23 had came into our eye. Usually, we will need torquing spring to correct the torque of the tooth, and in total 18 months, the high impact canine is well positioned. Till here, if you are really concentrate in the past few minutes, then you may wonder there is something missing that I haven't mentioned yet. Yes, there are two impact teeth in this case, and do you see a little miracle happened? That the second premolar had erupted, and all we had done just wait and see. The only thing we did here is just create the space by open coil spring and wait for it to auto pop up, then we bound the bracket. So for the final result, we spent total 31 months, both of the impaction were corrected. We can see the teeth are all in acceptable alignment. Therefore, age and direction are the first priority to analyze while we encountered impaction because it will determine whether do we need surgical intervention or not. In this case, we have two different situations, and the treatment is totally different. To make it more even clear, we have summarized all the key points by timeline in this slide. Don't forget to take a screenshot and keep continue following us. We look forward to see you again. Thank you.